Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. Today, I thought I would take you through some new things that I've picked up from Zara. They're very spring summer, which feels really wrong today. I'm gonna be really British and do a bit of weather chat. It's currently snowing, yeah, and it is absolutely freezing. So a lot of what is in these boxes feels very wrong today. However, it is April and before we know it, it will be summer. Like literally, it's snowing right now and this happens in April. I don't know why I'm doing, I'm doing the hands. Sorry. Today it's snowing. Tomorrow there will be a heat wave that lasts for like four months. It will literally go from winter to summer. There is no actual spring. But anyway, I'm going to show you some things that I picked up from Zara that are very like spring, summer. I'm really excited to share them with you. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, then keep on watching. So I've just realised that I didn't put any jewellery on. So I'm going to completely ruin the continuity of this video by putting in some earrings. Are you ready? Are you ready? I am actually so excited for this first item. So we have this little blue and white pinstriped shirt. Hopefully it won't make the camera go funny because pinstripes and cameras do not like each other. It's a little cropped shirt with nice big pockets on the front. It's got these cute little like silver button detailing, which I actually, I think it's kind of cute. It's not something I would normally go for, but I just loved the overall like fit and structure of the shirt. It's very rare you see like a cropped shirt in this print at the moment and I loved the nice big collar on it. It's very like pointy and really perfect, but I thought this would look beautiful with like white wide leg trousers or even black wide leg trousers. If you're going back to work in an office anytime soon, this would be a really cute one for spring, I think. Oh my God, you guys, I absolutely love this shirt. I've kind of like sat it a little bit further back. I'm really enjoying wearing shirts like this at the moment, whether they're tucked or not. The length on this shirt, if I like wear it normally, it kind of hits because of my body length. For anyone that's new here, 5'2". My everything is short and it does mean that sometimes cropped things hit at the worst possible point on me. So wearing this crop shirt a little bit further back allows for like a little bit of stomach if I wanted that kind of look, but it's also long enough that if I wanted to tuck it, I think that would be possible. I would just probably need to belt this to make sure like it doesn't slip and to make sure the trousers actually stay at my waist. But yeah, I think a belt would just make sure that that kind of stays cinched in nicely because I think as I like walk, if not, we just have like a little bit poking out. Very versatile, I really like it with these white trousers. These are from ASOS. This might be, if I had to rank my purchases, this might be my number one. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. Rank my purchases, please. <laughs> if we could all rank the purchases in the comments, that would be bad. Also a special mention to the drop on the shoulders of this shirt. I really love the way it's kind of like cut. So it's got like a, almost like a puff, a slight puff shoulder, but the drop is like much lower down. I don't know if that's the right way to describe it. It just gives it that really lovely relaxed vibe, which is why I think it works so well, kind of sat a little bit further back. It's really nice and relaxed, but you can also make it very, very smart too. So it's kind of like, this is office, and then this is like after work drinks. And I love that. And then we have, I'm really enjoying shirts at the moment. So bear with me. We have this very Jacquemus style, long sleeve, open chest, high waist shirt. It's cropped. I got it in a size small. I got the previous shirt in a size small as well. I think I just wore everything like small across the board now. So if I do forget to say, chances are it is a small. I normally say if I've like got something in a size up or down. Yeah, anyway, I got a size small in this. I'm really excited to try it on. I'm hoping it looks cute because I think, like I said, with the previous shirt, it would look really nice with like a smarter pair of trousers. It would look really cute with like a pair of white linen-y trousers, which I do have something like that in my wardrobe. It would look lovely with just like midi skirts in the summer but also with denim jeans so it just is a real nice classic all-rounder really great staple to have in the wardrobe okay this top is really cute i like it a lot a little tip for when you're tying it i actually wound the tie around itself a few times before pulling it back just so it kind of dropped the point at which it like threads out just that tiny bit lower just because i found that my like waist tie was getting lost underneath the shirt. Let me try and show you without flashing you. So the tie before was basically sitting like this. You could barely see it, which isn't really the point of the shirt. So I took these two bits and I originally just wound them back once and it kind of pulls the shirt in a little bit more as well, which I really liked. But then I decided to do this. I literally just wound the tie around itself a little, tied it at the back. You literally just um, wrap this one around your body once. It's fairly simple in that sense. And then I just kind of reposition it a little bit. I try and keep it like, looser just because i think it looks 
slightly better if it's like not loose but not like super super tight but yeah this way it's just a little bit more visible if your body is slightly shorter and non-cooperative with like a tie waist anything but what do we think do we like this kind of like Jacquemus shirt vibe. I've paired it with some linen, like wide leg, very, very long trousers from Zara, which I have taken up. But I think they pair really, really beautifully with the shirt. I'm very happy with this look. I'm just not sure if the tie waist shirt is just a bit too much fuss for me. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know if I should keep or return. There's also this version, which, can you hear that? It's like paper. I'm not keen on this right from the outset. It's very similar, but just a short sleeve if you don't like a long sleeve top and it is button up. I'm not in love with this straight off the bat, but we'll try it on anyway, because I think it'll be interesting. I'm not a fan of a short sleeve in that kind of cut. It's quite like a wide arm. That kind of fit tends to like make me look very broad here, which isn't normally something that I care too much about. Like I love these kind of tops and they're very like wide on the shoulder, but there's something about like an actual like cutting there versus like up here. I'm not sure I'm, I'm gonna be down for it, but I thought we'd try it anyway. This shirt I actually really like, which is surprising. And though I am really scared that I'm gonna have like a whole boob slip with this because it is quite like, yeah, it's not even one of those shirts that you can wear like a cute lacy bra underneath and have it poking out because then it's really going to interfere with like the rest of the top. I would go with a very minimal nude bra for this to try and like minimize any other distractions. Apart from that, it is a really cute top. I almost gave up with the lacing of this. I was really not sure what was going on. On the website, they actually have it photographed. just like that almost. I'll pop a picture. But I can't tell if our shooting it slipped from being crisscross to just being like a half a crisscross. So not really sure how they intended for this one to be wrapped. So I've just kind of like gone my own way with it. I popped it with a pair of Topshop cigarette trousers. These are like tailored trousers that I've had for literally for years. Yeah, it's cute. I don't know if these tops are massively practical, if I'm honest. It's distracting. I'm gonna be thinking at all times about like whether this looks decent. I don't know, maybe that's the point. Maybe it actually looks kind of better if it's lived in. I do think they're very cute, just not massively practical, but they are like a very, very cool top. And I love an updated twist on a classic white shirt. I love white shirts so much. We then have this dress. You guys know I love a white dress in spring summer I'm not sure on this one now that i've got it a lot of the time at the moment their dresses are looking so cute on the models and then when you get them they're a little bit ropey but i'm here to do the road testing for you guys so i will show you what this looks like on it's like a square neckline which is really cute i'd say like a three quarter length sleeve it's got almost like a tiered look to it but it's not it's just like one piece of fabric and i'm not sure no nah. This is not double lined, so this could be very see-through. This dress, I think so many of you are gonna love, but I personally, I'm not 100% in love with. It is very see-through, which is my <laughs> first gripe with it. I'm not sure if it's a bit boho-y for me, maybe. There's something about it that I'm just not 100% vibing with. It is very cute, but I just think maybe not for me. Next up, we are getting into a very summer color territory. I actually had a dress like this about, oh, like literally, just before COVID started. I think I have a picture of me wearing a dress like this, except in this beautiful like burnt corally color. And I actually don't have that anymore. I think I left that in Gran Canaria, which is so sad. That's where I was right before COVID kind of hit. And I think I accidentally left it there. And I have so many regrets about that because that dress was so cute. Now, Zara doing like a cute, kind of baby pink version. I'm not sure the color is gonna be for me. I don't think I'm a baby pink kind of girl. I think I suit a much stronger pink, like a bubble gum pink, and this isn't quite hitting the mark. I'm gonna try it on because I do think dresses like that are so lovely. I love having slip dresses in my wardrobe. I do think they're so handy and such a good piece to have. My black one I wear all the time and style it up throughout winter, spring, autumn, summer. So I love that. And obviously it works for like nights out and everything. We'll see how I feel once I've tried on the pink. So this one, I'm not convinced. The only reason it's making it into this video is because I know that Lauren loves it and that she wants to see it. But there's something about this that I just, I'm not sure if I love it on. I don't know why. And I know that I did this with the last dress like this that I owned but I look back at pictures of me wearing it and I'm like oh my god that dress was so cute like I wish I hadn't left it behind I'm so sad about it granted the other one was definitely more of a me color in hindsight it was this beautiful like 
corally tone and that worked really well with like tan accessories whereas this one definitely wouldn't it's much more of an icy pink so you need more cool toned accessories of which i have a very limited amount of i paired it with these sliders just because it's definitely a more playful dress and something that you would maybe predominantly think would need a heel with it but i think with like a really fun cute slider it can work really well and these are quite like playful with the quilting on them but yeah i'm just not sure it's love and I just don't think I'd wear it as regularly as I maybe would if it was in a different colour. So I might just keep my eyes open for something that is a little bit more me. However, this would look so cute with the Bottega like pink sandals that they are doing this summer. And as tempting as it is to use the affordable dress to buy an expensive pair of shoes, I don't think that's going to happen. But let me know what you think. Let me know if I should keep or return this one. I do love the back. That is one of the things that I really love about these dresses is the low back. I think it's so gorgeous. Lauren, I hope you love this one. Is it cute? I thought I'd throw in some wild cards really in terms of the dresses, just to give you an idea of what Zara have to offer at the moment. This is very like reformation-y. However, I can't decide if I will look cute in this or just like I'm wearing one of my nanny's curtains. So I'm excited to try this on and we can all vote. I'm dying to know your thoughts on this. Do we like it? Because I actually really like the fit of it and the style of dress on. I'm still not 100% sold on the pattern, but I don't know if I maybe just need some convincing. Like, is it too granny? Is it like your nana's curtain? Is it cute? I paired it with these really cute little sandals from And Other Stories, which I really like. And I also think that it would look really cute if we're doing a whole outfit. I think it would look really cute with this bag. Just like a little neutral nod in with the kind of like yellowy tones that we've got going on. Yeah, I think it's really cute. I really love the like drop shoulder of this. Like it's so floaty. It's also got a little kind of lace bit across the chest, which is really cute as well. I just made sure the bottom was really tight and kept the top a bit loose just so it gives that like really beautiful shape around the chest. And then it just has this kind of skirt section to it, which I think fits really well i'm really happy with the overall fit of this it's not too tight and not too fitted but it's not like too loose at all like this is like the perfect kind of fit for me during the summer i think and i love the split in the skirt and that's what a lot of these dresses don't have or it doesn't sit in the right place but on me this is like the perfect point for it to sit at just like a little bit cute a little bit sexy but yeah i think it's really cute and i like the fit and then sometimes i think the fit is more important in how often I wear something than the overall like pattern itself. I don't know if anyone else agrees, but I really love the fit of it. I'm just so sad that they don't make this in like a bajillion colors because I think there would be a little something for everyone if they just did a couple of colorways in this. Does the color suit me as well? I think is a very important factor to take into account next up we have this little sage number which is one of those dresses that is like ruched and elasticated and fitted at the top it's got little tie shoulders which i love because if you don't have like a very long top half to your body you can definitely shorten this which is amazing it's got a broderie on glaze as you go down the skirt which is lovely i can't decide if i prefer sage in terms of just like a home color or if i'm like down with it in terms of actually wearing it I'm not sure. I'm gonna try it on because I love this fit of dress. I tend to pick them out a lot over the summer months. I have a black dress, which is a much more plain skirt. And I also have it in nude as well. And I love them. I gravitate towards them so much. So this one could be a really great one to have in my wardrobe. I just don't know if the color is a bit too much of a trend color. However, it is one of those beautiful colors that acts as a neutral. It can kind of be a color when you want it to be a color, but you can also have it act as a neutral in a lot of cases and then pair it with other brighter, stronger colors. I actually love this so much more on than I originally thought I was going to. This was one of the items I pulled out the box and I was like, hmm, bit lackluster. Don't really know why I ordered it. Don't know what I saw in it. Now that I've got it on, I see exactly what I saw in it and I love it so much. It is very long on me. I paired it with a pair of similar tone Zara sandals, which are really cute. And I think more recent stock, so I'll link them if I can. I'm not sure what it is about this, but the second I looked in the mirror after putting this on, I just felt so, so cute and so happy. And I don't really know what it is about it because like I said, on paper, I really wasn't sure on it earlier, but it's so sweet. It is very long. You could 
kind of make it shorter by adjusting the straps. I did adjust the straps slightly, but not too dramatically, only because of the drop at the waist. I didn't want it to come up too high because it makes you a lot wider, as you can see. And I didn't want it to go too low because then it just kind of looks really funky when it hits my hips. It's just like shoots out because I have quite wide hips and then also you have the drop on top of that. So I kept it literally just after the smallest part of my waist just to get the best kind of like silhouette from this. But unfortunately that does mean that this almost like hits the floor. It literally just grazes the tops of my feet. So in terms of being a mini dress on me, not so much and being practical, not so much, but it is a lovely maxi dress on me. And yeah, it's just such a beautiful color. I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Would you keep it? Would you send it back? Speaking of brighter colors, that is something that I've been almost like experimenting with a little bit over the past month or so. I think maybe just because things have been so gloomy, I've really wanted to inject some color into my wardrobe. And you guys will know from last summer, I love a linen style shirt. I think they're such a great classic. They are just such a great piece to have in your wardrobe in general. And Zara have quite a lot of color colourful linen style shirts at the moment so I thought I'd pick some up and see how I felt. I love yellow at the moment, I'm really really into yellow. I think it works really nicely especially when my hair is darker. When I was very blonde I just didn't really feel like it suited me, there was a bit too much kind of yellow going on. I'm interested to see how this one fits, it does look like a very small Fit. So this one won't be like an oversized one on me, but I think it will be perfect for tucking into trousers, especially like my white trousers. I think this could look really, really gorgeous. Or even with more linen, natural coloured trousers, I think that would look lovely too. Right, I need you all to tell me, is it ridiculous? Is me wearing yellow or me wearing colour in general just ridiculous and should I stick to neutrals? I do like yellow. It's a very happy colour, which I don't think is a particularly groundbreaking statement there, but I do really like yellow. I don't know on this top though, without it being tucked into trousers, I don't really love it. So I can't see myself just, you know, throwing this on, on its own. Even if I was like on a beach, I think I'd go for a more neutral toned linen shirt rather than like a bright pop of colour. I mean, never say never, but I just can't see me wearing this without it being tucked into trousers. So it kind of limits the wear opportunities, if you know what I mean. So yeah, just not 100%. But it does tuck really beautifully into these wide leg trousers that I'm wearing. Oh, by the way, if you do order these and you find they're a bit tight on the arms when you first put it on, undo the button, unravel it, chances are the arm has actually not had the little cuff button undone so it's like literally the tightest thing on your arm when you first put it on. I'm excited to try on the other colour I have of this now. And then I also got it in pink and I'm not, I don't know, I don't know. I kind of like this pink. This is like the kind of pink that I think looks slightly better on me than the dress. For me, it would be this with like a white pair of trousers. I'm really enjoying wearing colours with like white trousers at the moment. I think it's quite a modern pairing. I don't know, some people might disagree, but I'm just really enjoying that kind of vibe at the moment. I really like this pink colour. I actually thought that I would prefer the yellow. I was like, there's no way I'm going to like the pink anywhere near as much as the yellow. I really, really like it. I know it's that warmer toned pink it's not like such an icy pink and because of that it is definitely going to work better on me but yeah I, I do really like it it's very very sweet i got a size small in both the pink and yellow linen shirts and i would say they are kind of like true to size but made to be a relaxed fit so they're not like hugely oversized they actually work really nicely for tucking into these trousers or any trousers because there's not a ton of excess material but it's still got that nice like looseness on the top half. I'm just not really sure how much wear I'll get out of it unless it is tucked into trousers. Next up we have this top, which I just think is so cute. Again, with like a white trouser, this would look so adorable. I also think with like a white jean or just general, you know, your normal colored jeans, but also black as well. This is one of those pieces that I think will work really well with a lot of different items in your wardrobe. I also really love this because it not only adds a hint of color into your outfit, but the check kind of gingham adds like the texture that sometimes an outfit needs as well. So this is kind of doing the most for your outfit, I feel like, and it's got this back, which is like a very, very low back. I'm hoping it will be tight enough and it is quite thick. So hopefully it will also be thick enough that I don't have to wear a bra if it's like tight enough, thick enough that kind of vibe but yeah i love how much it like covers the chest and then you've got the more open back i just think that's a really really lovely twist and you can pair this with a lot of different bottoms as well depending on the weather and the temperature and that kind of vibe oh my god this is so cute it looks a little bit janky with the try on because i feel like i've got little 
like loops sticking out. I didn't want to cut them off yet. So I've just kind of tried to tuck them in. This top is so cute. I really like it. I think it goes really well with these white trousers that I've got. These were from ASOS. They are currently out of stock and it doesn't look like they're coming back, which is really sad. They're a lovely pair of like spring trousers. Like they're a really nice thick white pair of trousers that almost feel a bit almost velvety but they're not velvety i'll link them just in case they come back into stock but it's not looking likely however this top works so beautifully with them the only thing i don't love about this top is the way the seams are cut over the boobs it kind of gives you like this point definitely not in love with that so i'm i'm kind of not sure from that perspective i just think it's a bit of a weird detail to have on a top i don't know if they meant to have that i don't know if maybe i should be filling this top a little bit better and then it would not be pointy. Yeah, that's the only thing that's really, really bugging me about this top. The back is lovely. I love the detailing of it. Like the shoulders have this gorgeous ruched detailing, which is so pretty and works really, really nicely with like the gingham print. It just gives the outfit a lot of texture. It's something like 50% cotton, 20 something percent viscose and 20 something percent polyester. But it's got like definitely got that cottony feel, especially to like the front part of it. So it is really lovely and very comfortable. Feels really beautiful. But I just don't know if that seam is going to bug me too much. I'm not one to worry about like if my nipples are poking through or anything like that. But I draw the line at like pointy boobs i think it's a bit next we just have a 100 percent linen shirt this feels so so lovely it's really nice and thick as well so i think this will work really well for spring into summer and it's just your classic white linen shirt so i think this would be one of those pieces that you just have in your wardrobe for a really long time it's a really classic style it's not too long either which i really like some linen shirts can be very very long this one isn't so much better for like tucking into things and this one is a little bit thicker than the other white linen shirt i own which is a little bit more sheer and i kind of like that for actually like wearing properly as a shirt when it's not like peak summer i think sheer items are amazing when it's peak summer and you can kind of get away with that it's more holiday vibes but for when i want something that feels a little bit more smarter and a little bit more dressy that is perfect i hope it fits well we'll see so the white linen shirt i love i think it's so cute though i have to say i know everyone finds like long shirts really difficult to tuck i think i actually find a cropped shirt maybe it's just this cropped shirt i actually find cropped shirts harder to tuck but i find you can basically have the same bunching issue it's just around your waist and that much closer to the waistline and being able to like pop back out the sides on this in particular they really didn't want to like tuck in properly but we got there in the end and i do really like the way this shirt looks especially with these trousers these are also zara trousers let me show you i love these trousers so much i think they look so cool with the white linen shirt as well i don't think it's too see-through i mean a white shirt is a white shirt it's always going to be a little bit see-through but looking on camera it doesn't look too bad it's something that's really comfortable and relaxed and you can wear for both smart occasions and casual occasions and i love that and then i think i should be done with shirts by now i think this is the last one this one is much more of a holiday vibe i'm not sure if i love the neckline on this but i wanted to give it a go i love the stripe detail on it it's a little bit more sheer and it's got a cotton linen mix in terms of the material so it feels very soft but very like relaxed it actually just feels lovely i want to keep it just for how it feels but i love the tone of the stripes on it it's got that lovely white company vibe to it and i really love that it's gonna look so gorgeous with a pair i keep saying this but a pair of white trousers like tucked in with my yellow bag that will be so cute so this top is giving me real white company mum vibes like it's does anyone know what i mean and that is not meant in like that is meant in a an i love it kind of way this is one of those items that i can really see the white company doing and seeing this being styled up on the website maybe with like a straw hat you know you match the little like garden cushions that they do which are like the cute blue and white stripes that kind of vibe yeah this is like rich white company mom vibes i love it that is the kind of aesthetic i'm going to aspire to in the future i actually really like this quite long as well i'd say on me it comes down to around here underneath my trousers it's really nice and thin it tucks fairly well there is a lot of material to it but because the material is thin it doesn't feel too bunchy i'm not normally a fan of collars like this at all i just don't know i don't know what they remind me of but i don't feel like they're that flattering but on this i will take it because it is such a lovely relaxed vibe the sleeves on it are really nice and long so they just come a little bit over my hands and this is it if you want to see like the outfit in full i realized i didn't show you properly you're going to see a lot of like regurgitation of like blue and white stripes and white trousers in this video because this is a vibe it's like my summer 
vibe. There's a time of year and it happens every year where my entire Instagram just suddenly integrates like blue and white tones and that is all it is. Next, I'm so excited by this jumpsuit. It's gonna be so cute. It's this gorgeous blue shirt on the top with like a tie waist and then it goes into like the blue trousers on the bottom. I'm probably gonna have to take this up a little bit, but I really like the fact that it's already been like rolled up slightly. That's like the style of it. So I think I can just kind of continue to roll it up. I don't think I'll even have to uh, wonder web this, which will be amazing. But I love a jumpsuit. You guys will know if you've watched my channel for a long time. It's one of those things, much like a dress, a play suit, that kind of thing, where it's like an outfit in one. Same as like a cohort. That's the reason I love all of those pieces is because once you've got that item on, like, you don't really have to think too much about the rest of the outfit and it can be all about your layer over the top or your accessories and i'm so here for that because i'm lazy this i hope it fits and looks decent because on paper i'm so on board with it guys i really need your help with this one this was the piece that I was probably the most excited to try on and I'm just really not sure. I think we could all agree that me being unsure is like a gut feeling and that you should just go with it and that it's not right. But I have tried to make the best out of this that I possibly can. So what I've done for one is pulled the shirt, sit a little bit further back on my shoulders rather than having it like this. I don't think that was helping me in this situation. It pulls it up a little bit more so that we've got a little bit more shape and cut out going on because this is definitely made for someone that is like a lot taller than me so i'm having like body length issues with this one but i also could have done with an extra small the elasticated bit around the waist is literally just like flapping about because there's a cutaway across the kind of stomach area there is there's nowhere to hide the fact that this is a little bit loose like there is with other pairs of trousers you know you can tuck things into them it fills it out etc i've also rolled the hems up twice because they were very long as I expected they would be so they cut at a terrible terrible point for my height so I rolled them up but yeah I'd love to know what you think I was so excited to try this on but I do think it's maybe not the most flattering cut especially with these shoulders they are a lot wider than I anticipated I'm basically wondering is it the fit that's not right or is it the actual cut that isn't doing me any favors like do the the shoulders need to be like wound off a bit more but yeah let me know what you think did i just save it or did i just ruin it hopefully these things are going to be in stock but it's worth bearing in mind that things are flying off the zara website at the moment like this isn't everything that i wanted there were so many gorgeous like white dresses and like white tops white jumpsuits like and you know i'm just a big fan of white items and i just couldn't get my hand on any of them they were all out of stock fortunately i did get my hand on this one which i'm really happy about it's this lovely long this is gonna be a maxi dress on me but it's meant to be a midi dress a long white midi dress which is like completely backless it's got a halter neck and i just think it is so classic and beautiful one of those pieces that you would just have in your wardrobe forever because this will never be out of style which is why i love white dresses it's why i buy them year on year because you just won't ever get rid of them this one doesn't have any elastic on the back or anything but it's got a side zip so sizing i think is going to be key with this one you're going to want it to fit snug so we'll see how this fits on me i got the size small i also might need to take that up so <laughs> we'll see it could <laughs> oh, i can't wait to flash forward it could be an absolute tent on me I think it's highly likely. I actually thought this dress was gonna be too long. When I held it up to myself on the hanger, I was like, oh no, this is gonna be an absolute joke. And to be fair, I think, if I recall rightly, it was called a mini dress, so this is still a slight joke, but obviously being that much shorter, it always is gonna be a joke for me, isn't it? But it still looks really lovely. You can kind of tell though by where the seams are across the boobs. It, this is just meant to be sat ever so slightly lower, but if I sit it slightly lower, we're like talking full ball gown vibes, which I'm not sure is what I wanted to go for with this dress, but it is such a gorgeous summer dress. If you're any taller than me, like this is just the most gorgeous dress. If you can still get your hands on it, on Zara, I would highly recommend because it's so beautiful. It feels amazing, like the quality is lovely. It's one of those things that you would keep 
for like forever in your wardrobe it's just one of those gorgeous forever pieces it feels it makes me feel so lovely in terms of sizing i got a small but i do feel like there's a <laughs> there's a lot of space back here and i do think that i maybe could have got an extra small i might look into that and see if they still have this in stock for one which i think is very unlikely because it's one of those pieces that will just these do just fly off the website but let me know what you think because i do sometimes think having a dress like this loose does make it like look a little bit more modern it's double lined the quality just feels amazing it's really like i don't know it just it's really beautiful okay next up this top is actually part of a co-ord which i sadly didn't get both parts to but the top was still in stock it's got these lovely like ruched shoulders which give it a bit of structure to the shoulder as well it's in a gorgeous like beige color and then it drops down at the waist into a body which i love i just think it's going to be so nice and clean to style and like tuck into things this will just look gorgeous with like every pair of bottoms i own in my wardrobe it will go with everything i'm obsessed i love it i wish i got the bottoms to it because it just looks so cool this body is so lovely i really like it i love the way it falls it just looks so expensive it doesn't look high street at all the body finishes i don't know if you can see it finishes here on me which is perfect for kind of like my waistline and trousers and things like that so i think you can see it just starts kind of like grouping the material together around that point where it goes into the trousers so it gives it this lovely like tucked perfectly tucked effect but without you having to do anything and i just think that's so great the bottom half as well is really it's like a mesh so it's basically like invisible and i love that i think this is such a nice piece i love that it's sleeveless but it's not like cuts here sleeveless you know that cut that is just so unflattering i either prefer it to be like really far in or like this and really far i'm just have these like tiny little ruched sleeves i think it's so pretty and the ruching on the top is it this lovely like almost padded shoulder effect without actually having to have the annoyance of padded shoulders which i just think is so cool it's that nude tone that isn't too cool toned and it's not too like yellow toned it works perfectly with like a white trouser which i'm so so happy with do i need another body this one isn't like any of the other own, so maybe yes and then this is a very summer color this could really i'm not sure if this color is going to do me any favors you guys need to let me know i got this dress and it's like a big kind of like smock style this could be a real risk because i can't really alter the strap length unless i like tie it or i kind of take it in myself which is possible all you need to do is kind of just like pull the strap down here and then stitch it but yeah it's gonna have to be cute for me to go to that effort but yeah i also don't know how long it's gonna be on my body so we will see it and it's in this gorgeous peachy i think the color is tangerine which i think is really cute but i'm not sure if this color is going to do me any favors i am pleasantly surprised by this dress let me tell you this is so cute i'm loving the pockets in it which for me i'm not such a lover of pockets but i think with this dress it's so cute it just makes it feel that little bit more playful which is really nice the length on this is so nice for me as well like not too short like it just hits just above my knee which normally isn't the most flattering length but i think actually with this dress for some reason it just really works and because of the length it just feels that little bit more like playful it's just like a really fun summer dress but there's not a lot of like fuss and frills to it which i really like because the more i look at what i've enjoyed from past seasons and what i haven't enjoyed i'm starting to lean less away from like super super like frilly items a little bit is cute and i will probably still wear them but i think sometimes the cleaner cuts just tend to suit me a lot better i think keeping it simple works really well for me but yeah i love it i'm keeping it 100 percent let me know what you think it's so cute oh, no. this is so small <laughs> i'm dying oh uh, i love this but i may need a bigger size if they even still have it in stock okay so we have this bikini top which is so cute it really gives the illusion on camera of having a bit more shape than it actually does it's like a completely like jersey bandeau top and it's like completely flat i picked this up in a small in this gorgeous orange tone it almost comes off a bit neon -y on camera but it's not and it comes with knitted high-waisted briefs which actually these are small and they i'm looking at them like they will definitely fit me i'm looking at this like no and i'm probably blending in slightly with my bed but this is not surely not and then oh, i'm so excited about these i'm really glad that i got my hands on them because i almost forgot to order them i had to go back these look huge i am a 
only 38, but they look huge. I love an ugly sandal, so some of you might hate these, but I just thought they were really cute, like a cute tan. It's got a little bit of your toe, a little ankle strap with like a gold buckle, black sole. I don't know, I just thought they were so cute. I'll let you know what the sizing is like. Sometimes with Zara at the moment, I'm finding that the fives are too big, which is a little bit weird. So this is just an idea of what the sandals look like on. I'm not gonna get too up close for you guys because my feet just still haven't seen my nail lady in a very long time and you don't need that. You do not need that interruption to your day. But these are really cute. I like them a lot. I think they'll work really, really nicely with trousers as well throughout the summer. And they're actually very comfortable as well. I'm not sure how they'd fare if I was like walking in them for a long time because they have the, the toe holder. But yeah, I do really like them and they are actually surprisingly comfortable. They've got that kind of cushiony base on the bottom, which I really like. Finally, I know you thought we were done here, but I actually found this in the bottom of the box that I was taking all of the bits out of and I couldn't resist sharing this with you because I think it's so cute. It's a cropped linen shirt in this beautiful like bubble gummy kind of pink tone it's actually a similar pink to the pink linen shirt that you will have seen earlier in this video i've just paired it with the white asos trousers and then white kind of flip-flop sandal thingies it is very cute i would love to know if you think i should keep this one a little bit of a wild card for me but i really like the fit of it i just paired it with these trousers because they sit a little bit lower on my stomach and i thought it would give this like waistline kind of time to shine i love the big kind of billowy sleeves as well it's very very cute very playful hope you enjoyed this final little wild card that i didn't think was in the video back to me in the studio so that is it for my zara haul i really hope you guys enjoyed this let me know what your favorites were in the comments what you think i should keep what you think i should return thank you for watching what was mainly just a huge haul of shirts <laughs> no it wasn't really was it maybe a little bit anyway hope you enjoyed this hope you're all having a lovely day love you bye